sixth grade students. I hope you've had a fantastic day. This afternoon we will be learning how to change units in the customary system. In class today we learned about the different types of units we use to measure various distances, weight, and capacity. Today we're going to work on changing those and converting them, like converting feet to miles and miles back down to feet or feet to inches and so on. So here is the basic chart we are going to be focusing on to help us with our conversions. And please feel free to rewind this video and pause it on the screen when you do your homework so you can remember what it is you need to, to do. So as review, there are 12 inches in one foot. There are 36 inches in one yard and three feet in one yard. And there are 5,280 feet in one mile. As far as weight, there are 16 ounces in one pound and 2,000 pounds in one ton. For capacity, there is eight fluid ounces in one cup and two cups in one pint. Four cups equals one quart. Two pints also equals one quart. And four quarts equals one gallon. If you're in Mr. Hurst's math class, you would have learned about gallon town today. And my class, my math class, will be talking about that in class on Tuesday. So be ready for that really fun story you'll be hearing. So let's start with a fun story problem. So suppose you need eight and a half feet of fabric to make a costume. Fabric is sold in yards. If you go to any fabric store, you're going to see this. Um, how many yards of fabric should you buy? So the pattern says we need eight and a half feet. But fabric material is not sold in feet. They measure it in yards. So we need to know how many yards to ask the person cutting the fabric for us how many yards we need to cut. This is something I know a lot about because my mom sews and I know for a fact that fabric is sewed in yards. So I need to ask myself, how in the world am I gonna do this? I have eight and a half feet, which equals how many yards? Well, I know that there are three feet in one yard. And the trick to remember is when I'm going from a smaller unit, like feet, into a bigger unit, like yards, I'm actually going to be dividing. So I need eight and a half feet divided by however many feet are in one yard. I know that there are three feet in one yard, so I'm going to divide by three. Eight and a half divided by three. And since I'm remembering my fractions, I know that in order to divide this, I first am going to change the mixed number to an improper fraction. Eight times two is 16, plus one is 17. Keep that over two. And divide by three over one, which of course I'm going to take change it from a division problem to a multiplication problem and multiply the reciprocal. So 17 times 1, 17, 2 times 3 is 6. Now I need to divide. 6 goes into 17 2 times. That's going to be my whole number. 6 times 2 is 12. There are 5 left over, so my answer is 2 and five, six yards. So I'm gonna take my fabric up and say, I need two and five, six yards of fabric and that's exactly how much they're gonna cut. Now, 45 inches to how many feet? I know I'm going from a small number to a big number. So I am going to divide 45 inches divided by how many inches are in one foot. There are 12 inches in one foot by going back to the chart. 45 divided by 12. So let's see. 45, 12, that goes in three times. Nine left over. So nine twelfths, but of course, I have to simplify. 
3 goes into both 9 and 12. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So my answer would be 3 and 3 fourth foot. Now 56 and 1 third inches to feet. Same exact process since we're going from inches to feet. 56 and 1 third divided by 12 equals how many feet? Now I'm going to make this really, really easy on us. First, I'm going to take 56 and 1 third, change it into a mixed number, or an improper fraction. 56 times 3. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16, plus the 1, so I have 169 over 3, and I'm going to change it already, 12 times 1 over 12, because I took the reciprocal of 12 over 1. So 169 times 1 is 169. 3 times 12 is 36. Now I am ready to simplify. 169 divided by 36. Let's see. I think 36 can go in about 4 times. Let's see how well I did. 36 times 4. 4 times 6 is 30. No, not 32. That's 4 times 8. 24. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. Let's see, can I go in one more time? Let's see. Don't want to get too small of a number here. Nope, it can go in 4 times. So I get 144, I need to subtract 25 left over. So I have 4 and 25 over 36 feet. Not too complicated there. It's just a lot of steps. That's why I show all of my work. So find the number of pounds in 28 ounces. This is where it gets a little trickier because I have to remember how many ounces are in one pound. So I'm going to set myself up here. I have 28 ounces equals length number of pounds. I'm going from a small number. Ounces are smaller than pounds. I'm going from a small unit to a bigger unit. So that means I'm going to divide. So 28 divided by how many pounds? ounces are in one pound. Well, going back to the chart, I see that there are 16 ounces in one pound. So I'm going to divide 28 by 16. 16 goes into 28. Set this up. One time. Now I need to subtract. 12 left over. Simplify, and I get 1 and 6 over 8. No, I still can go further. 1 over 1 and 3 fourths. So this tells me that there are 1 and 3 fourths pounds. That equals 28 ounces. Find the number of quarts in 2 and a half gallons. This time we are trying to find the smaller one. I know that quarts are smaller than gallons. So I have two and a half gallons equals how many quarts? I'm going from the big one to the small one. Whenever I go from the big unit to the smaller unit, I multiply. So how many quarts are in one gallon? Well, there are four 
quarts in one gallon. So I'm going to take two and a half times four. Now the trick is to always remember the unit you're trying to find, in this case it's quarts, we have to ask ourselves how many of these are in one of these. And that's going to tell us what number we use right here. We go back to the chart. And of course, we'll work with you in class tomorrow on this. Um, do your best on the homework. But let's go on. The number of quarts in two and a half gallons. So let's change my mixed number to an improper fraction. 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5 over 2 times, I'm going to change this to an improper fraction as well, 4 over 1, cross multiply, make it easier, both of them divide by 2, 5 times 2 is 10, 1 times 1 is 1, 10 divided by 1 is 10, so that must mean that there are 10 quarts in 2.5 gallons. Now on to a slightly more challenging concept here, but very important. Computing with units. We're going to be taking, for example, 8 feet and 7 inches and taking away 6 feet 11 inches. This is a really good thing to do going back to the fabric story problem. Let's say we have 8 feet and 7 inches of fabric. We only need 6 feet and 11 inches of it. Well, how much are we going to have left over to work with later? Let's figure that out. Now, here's the tricky part that we need to remember. As we know with subtraction, I can't do 7 minus 11. It just doesn't work. I can't start with 7 and then take 11 of them away. So I'm going to need to borrow. In order to do that, watch very, very carefully to what I'm doing here. I'm going to take one foot away from the eight feet. So I have eight feet minus one foot. Okay, I'm taking one away. And I have the seven inches left over here. When I take that one foot away, I can't add one to seven and make 8 inches because a foot is not the same amount of fabric as an inch is. So I need to change my foot into inches before I can put it over there. I know that there are 12 inches in one foot. So when I bring this over, I'm going to be adding 12 inches. It changes from a foot to inches. So I'm left with 7 feet, because I took 1 away from the 8. By bringing it over, I changed it into inches, and 7 plus 12 is 19. So I now have 7 feet and 19 inches, minus 6 feet and 11 inches. Now I can subtract because 19 is bigger than 11. 19 minus 11 is 8, so I have 8 inches. 7 minus 6 is 1. So I'm left with 1 foot 8 inches. Now we can do this backwards to check our work. In order to check our work, I'm going to take 1 foot 8 inches plus 6 feet 11 inches. So let's see if I did that correctly. 6 feet 11 inches plus 1 foot 8 inches. 11 plus 8 is 19 inches. Uh, 6 plus 1 is 7 feet. Now if I was to convert that back, because we know that we can't leave the 19 inches there because 12 of those inches equals a foot. So I'm going to convert it. I'm going to take 12 inches away from here and put it over here. But remember, when I take 12 inches away, it changes into one foot. This 12 inches equals one foot. So I have my 8 feet 
and seven inches left over. And again, we're going to practice this in class tomorrow if it's a little confusing now. Here's another question. Your baby cousin was six pounds, eight ounces at birth. She gained one pound, nine ounces. How much does she weigh now? So since we're talking about gaining weight, I know I'm going to need to add. So six pounds, eight ounces plus one pound, nine ounces. Eight plus nine. Now since we're adding, I'm not going to need to borrow anything. So eight plus nine is 17. Six plus one is seven. But I'm not done because I can simplify this just like we're simplifying with fractions. I can simplify my units of measure. There are 16 ounces in one pound. 16 ounces is smaller than this, so I know that I can take a pound away from the ounces. So I'm going to take 16 ounces away, leaving me with one ounce. Now the 16 ounces does not go away forever because I'm just moving it. I'm moving it over to the pound side. But as I move it, it magically transforms from ounces back to pounds. So I'm going to add the one pound back. So eight pounds. So my baby cousin weighs eight pounds one ounce. Now it's your turn to try it. And that's all I'm asking is that you try it. On page 256, do numbers one through three, seven, and 8 through 10, and that should cover all of the concepts that we learned in this video. And again, if you can't remember how many inches are in um, um, a foot or how many ounces are in a pound, go rewind this video and go back to the chart, and that will really help you out. Um, and again, bring your questions to class tomorrow, and we will practice it. Thank you and hope you have a fantastic afternoon.